I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find probability of flipping coins using counting principles. The question here is if 8 coins are flipped what is the probability that we will get 5 heads and 3 tails. Now, Normally you will be solving probability questions of coins using a tree diagram. Now when there are too many flips then the tree diagram becomes extremely complicated, right? So we prefer to use counting principles. So let's look into this. We are saying eight coins are flipped. So that means there are eight positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it says, what is the probability that we will get five heads and three tails? Now, when we say five heads and three tails, we are saying five heads and three tails. So that is combination eight. Now, in this case, since eight coins are flipped, total number of options which we have, that is the sample space, is two to the power of eight, right? So those are total number of options or the outcomes. So these are total outcomes. So every time when you flip, it could be a head or a tail. So writing the, from the counting principles, they get multiplied. So 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that gives you total number of outcomes. Now, when we are saying 5 heads and 3 tails, in that case, uh, order is not important, right? So what we consider here is, these five heads could be in any position, right? So order is not important. That means we are looking for combinations, right? So we are looking for combinations. And what combination we need? We need five heads. So if there are five heads, we could put, put, put them in any position. Let's say one head here, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, it doesn't really matter where these heads are. The other blank spaces will automatically be tails, if not heads. So we are considering five heads in eight positions. So that gives us the favorable outcomes, right, for our event, which is, let's call this event as A, which is five heads and three tails. So five heads out of eight, so it is eight C5. So that is the favorable event. Once you know that, then the probability is ratio of these two, right? So favorable over total number of options. So favorable is 8C5 and total number of options are 2 to the power of 8. So that gives you the solution, right? So we can always find this answer. So 8C5 divided by 8C5 divided by 2 to the power of 8. So that gives you 7 over 32. Or in decimals, you could write this as 0 0.21875. Is it okay? So that is how you could get the answer without making a tree diagram, which could be very complicated, right? So and now you can practice. Let's say the question could be, what is the probability of an event to get, let us say, uh, two heads and, and let's say five tails. So that means we are flipping seven coins. Okay, so we are flipping seven coins. You need to find the probability of getting two heads and five tails. You can follow this principle and then do the needful. Thank you and all the best.